Welcome to Private Money Secrets. I'm Keith Yaki and I'm your host. And all we talk about here is private money, real estate, and some other fun stuff. Grab your favorite beverage. Let's dive in. Hey, hey, welcome to another edition. Keith here. Listen, today is Memorial Day. Now, you're probably not hearing this on Memorial Day, but I'm recording it on Memorial Day. And when I think of Memorial Day and about the soldiers here in America that have given the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom, that is exactly the word that comes into my brain when I think about this day. Memorial Day, it equals sacrifice. It means that you're willing to give up something for something else. And in their case, they gave up their lives so that you and I could experience freedom, which I owe them, we owe them the deepest debt of gratitude, A, to never forget, and B, to emulate and follow in their example of giving up our life for the greater goal. Now, what is the greater goal? Usually, the greater goal in our life is to uh, provide for our family, to give our kids maybe a better life than we've experienced. But it also can extend and translate over into our own lives. And that is, man, I want to I want a business that's fulfilling. I want to be good at my business. I want to be good at the craft. And so in light of the word sacrifice, this last week for me, as I've been contemplating this, I put a screensaver on my phone and it, and it simply asked me one simple question. That is, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want the success that you want? And your level of success and my level of success might be different right now. But if you're stretching for something that you want, then you and I are in the same boat. And I may be down the road further than you um, initially or at this point, but I'm still looking up at the mountain top, the mountain peak and saying, hey, I want to get there as well. And so I know it takes sacrifice. And the question is, how bad do I want it? Am I willing to give up good for better? Am I willing to give up better for the best? And so that means a lot of things for my life and and where I believe that my creator has told me what I'm supposed to do and how I'm supposed to do it. And I'm sure that you have those things as well. So the one question for us is how bad do you want it? The other statement is something that I want you to avoid forever. And it comes in sneakily. It comes in creepily. It comes in almost undetected, unnoticed, and it can wreak massive damage in your mindset and the way that you show up to life. And it's simply this statement. You ready? Pull out your pen and paper. You're going to want to write this down. The statement simply is, I've tried everything. Don't ever let that statement come across your lips. Well, I've tried everything. How many times have you heard that? Hey, can you go find me the, you know, the cookies in the uh, pantry? Why I looked, I looked everywhere. Well, if you looked everywhere, you would have found them. Or, hey, have you, you know, did you make 10 offers? Yeah, you know, I've done everything. I've tried everything. Well, okay, so name me the first 100 things you've tried. And then we get to three and we're done. The bottom line is you haven't tried everything. It's impossible to. But we love this statement of I've tried everything because then it puts us off the hook of actually having to get the result. If you're results oriented, this is not something that you will ever accept. If I ask my team to get something done and they don't get it done and they say I've tried everything then I would love for them to explain the 1.3 million things that they tried to get that done. The bottom line is we typically only try two, three, or four things, and usually the two, three, or four things we try, we're not that good at. And so, yes, we gave it great effort, but we weren't very apt. We weren't very skilled in what we tried, and so it didn't work to the way we wanted to. The bottom line, if you are a results-driven person, you say, I want results, I'm going to succeed, then this statement should be the farthest thing from your mouth ever. Don't ever say I've tried everything because you haven't. You haven't. Everything, like literally everything. No, you haven't. And that is a bullshit excuse statement that's getting you and letting you off the hook of what you could accomplish. See, when you're results driven, you don't say I've tried everything and quit. You say, I've tried one more thing than I hadn't before. And I still need to try something else because I want to and I will get to that goal no matter what. 
If this is the attitude you have where you say, I'm willing to sacrifice anything to get to the greater goal of me having a better life, a better life for my family, a better legacy, better finances, better fitness, better spirituality, everything that I want, and you eradicate that dumb ass loser wussy ass statement of I've tried everything, watch and see what happens this week, this next month, this next year, where you will go. That's what winners do. Winners find a way. Losers find an excuse. If you need help raising private money, I highly recommend you take those hot little thumbs and you type in privatemoneypro.com. You go there, you watch that video, you book a call with me or my teammate, and you let us show you the right way, the relevant way, the way that's working currently right now and raising tons and tons of private money. Go to privatemoneypro.com. We'll hook you up. We'll help you out. We'll make sure that you get there. But when we talk, you can't say you've tried everything because that's bullshit. But you can say, I'm willing to sacrifice everything to get where I want to go. Those are the type of people we work with. Have a great Memorial Day. I'm sure you already have. But let's remember, it takes sacrifice to get what you want. And if it doesn't take sacrifice... It ain't worth having. All right, so if you're wanting to learn how to raise more private money, go to www.privatemoneypro.com, www.privatemoneypro.com, where I can show you how to be a private money pro. Take care and go rock it. Go rock it.